Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model this uh, mass, this model, um, gy gyroid surface. Okay. Um, this is the closest I can get. It's not perfect, but okay. Um, yeah, let's start. So first, um, create a. I'll just create a generic model adaptive. So basically, a, a massing. Um, okay, let's first let's place some point. Set work plans on level. So I'll place the first point. Here, okay, and then point set work plane set and pick the work plane, place the points, place the point, and then I'll go that way. So because I'll I will get a positive offset, so I'll create a offset. Uh, I'll call it W. Um, type for instance. Let's say instance. Okay. Okay. So then another one. Set work plan. Okay. So this time go this way. And link W. And then another point. Horizontal work plan and go up and also link the W. Okay, so um, now let's oh let's create some more points. So set work plan. Another one, W. Uh, I'll need another one here, so okay, so then. Create spline, reference line, spline, reference line. Spline, reference line, spline, reference line. And the last one, or oh, not last one. This is the last one. Okay, so now it's 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 like a um, a square. It's it's a box, but only three face. Okay, so let me try. If I move this point, all the other points will follow it because all the other points start from the work plan of these points. Okay, so control V. So now we need to. Uh, at some more points in the middle. Points, draw on face. Here, and then draw points, draw on work plan. Place on this. Place here. Okay, so now we can move. So I'll move that way, and then I'll select this point. 180. So this point will go here. So now I'm going to add another uh, parameter. So let's call it offset instance. Okay, and okay. So these this point will be used to create this uh, spline, the curve. Okay, so 
now we need uh, more so here I'm going to select these two points CC and then pick this one pick new host and place here so in here I'm going to make it change that to zero so it go down so we need the uh, cur oh, the, the curve go inside and then go down and then go inside and then go uh, I'll, I'll show you <laughs> so copy this one and then select this one pick host pick the middle and then let me check so this one need to go inside so select this point 180 okay so cc and then select this point pick new holes and then this one need to go inside so change that back to zero and then also this one cc pick new holes Yep, this one's correct. So, which means I will copy this one and pick new holes. Okay, good. So now I can create the spline from these three points. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And the last one. So now, actually, uh, we already have all these six uh, edge. So, but in Revit, you won't be able to create a face from this. So if I create form, so you will see. So this is what we get. Okay, so. What we need is a um, smooth uh, organic um, surface, not this one. So what we need to do is uh, we need to add some more points and more spot, uh, more lines. Okay, so I'll delete this one. And uh, so first, first one I'm going to add is from this point, go down, and then. Uh, uh, and and at this point, okay. But if I select these two and create this line, it will be a straight line. So I need more points. Okay, so I'll delete this one. And then points draw on work plan set. Pick this uh, work plan, place it, and I'll just move this down a little bit. And I'll also draw another one. Set work plan. Okay. Go up. And then if I if I if I select these four points, and you will see this is something what we looking for. Okay. So set uh, reference sign, and also I'll select these two points. And in offset, I'll just type in one, so which will close to that point. So, okay, so this one's finished. So uh, another two. So okay, so draw uh, work plan. Pick, okay, and offset. Draw another one here. So work plan. And then select these four spline reference line and select these two offset one. So and the last one will be here. And uh, here. And then select these four with a sign and also select these two type in one so if you uh, model properly 
the, the, these three spline will uh, will all uh, intersect in this intersect at this point. Okay, so now we if we separate these uh, the big surface into one, two, three, four, five, six uh, six smaller ones. So, but uh, we need to create them separately. So, um, to create this one, we need another adaptive family. So, um, let me let me just go. Uh, actually, I'm going to divide this uh, divide part first. So, select one of these slide divide part. So change it from 6 to 5. So now you can see so in, in this small uh, little one, you have 1 point, 2 point, 3 point. So I'll do this one, 5. So you will have 1, 2, 3. And then uh, I need another 1, 2, or 3. So I'll, I'll, I'll to two at uh, first, okay. So uh, select all the uh, spline and divide part five, divide part, divide part, divide part, last one. So now you can create the this uh, phase with one two three one two one two three. So then this one one two three one two one two three. So we need a, a create a new f uh, adaptive family. So go to family, generic model, adaptive. Okay. So and then reference point. So one two three one two one two three. Adaptive one two three spline reference line four five spline reference line six seven eight. Okay, so now select these three create a form. So this is the one we need. So load back into that family and now we can place so Let's start from uh, alpha, uh, start from edge to uh, middle. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Start from edge. One, uh, which way? Uh, two, three, maybe this one. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And start from edge. One, um, this way. Two, three. One, two, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Three. Three, two, three. So last one. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. So uh, let me change to shade. So you can see it's it's not perfectly like a curve. Um, match in the curve match but it's it's okay <laughs> yeah you get the shape like uh, if you maybe just look from far it's, it's okay yeah so now this and also let's try uh, flex it because we build it as a uh, parametric so if I change this um, width to 2 meter become smaller. Now offset 
offset will change the curve. So um, let's say 300, yep, 400. And also uh, maybe I'll create another. So let's say a scale, offset scale, and then use um, number instance. Okay. And then uh, I'll let me say 0 0.5. And then uh, in offset, I'll just uh, add formula W times scale. Okay. Apply. So now uh, I'll just place this offset into other and uh, scale put back in together with the width, so which is dimension D. Okay, so now we if we change this one to 0 0.3, let's make it 0 0.25. Yeah, trying to find the, the best scale to make the curve better, smoother. So W, let's try. So now that all the curve will uh, stay the same, so because of this formula, so three meter, one meter. Okay, so. Um, so this this will be the first part today. Uh, it's it's quite simple. Um, uh, tomorrow we're going to place this. So this is only part of that shape. So what we need to do is place uh, multiple of this shape with um, mirror and rotate and try to achieve achieve that. Um, this kind of this one okay so if you have any any question just let me know and i'll see you tomorrow